This is Donald Trump. Uh, we got a couple of clips of him out on the trail, just not enjoy, just just not enjoying himself. Yeah, this is Trump. Just like this is, I think this is a good one, just because this is Donald Trump talking about reopening these schools. And one, you can see he's just so uninterested, which is typical of Trump, but like in a kind of exceptional way, even for him. And two, I really think that, you know, I don't, I really hope to God and everything holy that it doesn't come to this. But, you know, if kids start getting sick, it's, it's like, you know, it's just like the games are over at that point. By the way, just real quick, this is another incredible example here of the universal failure because schools not being open is really hard on working people. Mm -hmm. And this is like the most visceral, I mean, if it wasn't already clear why it is absolutely evil to not give everybody $2,000 a month and stop foreclosures and keep people in their houses and do all these other mechanisms that we need to protect people. That was already grotesque enough. That was already accelerating the depression and massive human suffering and threatening public health because more people are pressured to go out to work and everything else. The only reason that we're having this school conversation fundamentally as any type of even real thing is because there is, just like with the premature reopen nonsense, there is a real condition for some people attached to this. And instead of plugging that problem, we're going to accelerate the risk of children and, of course, staff. And obviously, if teachers go on strike, uh, we must have full solidarity with them. But Donald Trump is, I'm guessing, not thinking through any of this. Yeah. Mr. President, uh, Los Angeles just announced that they are delaying the opening of their schools. New York already said they were going to delay them. Other school districts are giving parents the choice whether to send their kids to school or not. What do you tell parents who look at this, who look at Arizona, where a school teacher recently died teaching summer school, parents who are worried about uh, the safety of their children in public yeah, schools? The schools should be opened. Schools should be opened. If these kids want to go to school. You're losing a lot of lives by keeping things closed. We did the right thing. We saved millions of lives. We saved millions of lives when we did the initial closure. Had we not done what we did, we would have had two to, Mike and I were talking about it before, two to three million lives lost. Uh, but we did that. So we're at about 135,000 and we'll be at somewhat higher than that by the time it, it ends. Uh, and again, the vaccines are happening and the therapeutics are happening, but I'm not even talking about that. So we'll be at a somewhat higher, but we would have lost two million, three million lives had we not done it. Uh, now we understand it also. We understand there are certain vulnerabilities, young children. So this guy, whose new message is deal with it, we've got 100,000 new infection rates a day, whose message from the beginning was it will magically go away while he let the thing become the most serious public health crisis in the United States in 100 years. The new thing is, it, nah, the school teacher died in Arizona. I can barely keep my head up, probably because I'm in a narcissistic rage depression because my poll numbers suck. This is it. And Betsy DeVos is threatening funding over this too. So there's material power behind this. So, you know, look, this is more serious than analyzing the fact that he can't perform in the same way that he used to. Mm -hmm. But I do, you know, again, when you're not in office, you can bullshit about anything. So of course, when he was running, he probably would have had 15 different positions on this. But even beyond that, there is nothing. I mean, look at that. This guy is exhausted, bored and resentful mm -hmm. because he has the responsibility of the health and safety of teachers and students across this country. I mean, that's the kind of raw sociopathy that one, a vanishingly few people possess. Most people are complex combinations of many things. I mean, it really is like genuinely weird to see somebody, you know, institutional function is one thing, but actually like literally having this guy in a position who obviously has some type of antisocial personality disorder. That's it. And it's not, you know, I don't want to reduce it to this because we need to fight this every step of the way. But I mean, this, this is not, th this is a sad campaign. It's totally pathetic. And I, and that is actually kind of the perfect clip. He's performing terribly and he's almost certainly going to lose if I'm being honest about my thoughts. Mm -hmm. And my God, does that say a lot? 
about why you need to get him the fuck out of there, in my opinion. Yeah, I mean, like, this is just... It's, it's, it's exceptional, really, to watch the dysfunction that's coming out of uh, the Trump White House. As somebody who, you know, honestly, after four years of it, uh, you know, you almost, you, you sort of like roll your eyes when you hear like, oh, here's another story about Trump yeah, being incompetent. But like, this is, um, you know, ex- exceptional from, from this to his continuous fixation on the testing being the problem, you know, that we're doing so much testing that it's making the numbers look bad. So then doing the very frightening, um, you know, pivot that he does after this, because obviously, like, this is not winning him much love, to literally just threatening, you know, to bring law and order to America's cities, you know, sending in the military. I mean, that's the scary aspect about uh, Donald Trump is that you know, he's always been very, um, you know, he, he's always sort of played by his own rules and, and it's been frightening because of that. But this is definitely a kind of situation where he's just so uninterested with what dealing with the coronavirus um, but like you really think that he could do something wild, which is frightening. And again, Bill Barr, we're going to do like a mini kind of history of Bill Barr next week. Um, Bill Barr is somebody who actually has the capacity mm-hmm. to implement. So that's significant as well. Just watched a Michael Brooks show video. Subscribe to get them all. Why wouldn't you? Don't be foolish. Click subscribe below and become a patron as well. Patreon.com slash TMBS. Thanks, everybody.